But let me be clear, the wounds inflicted on Chico were not inflicted by any member of my security team. You run police out of town. How you can enforce law and orders because they saw people not really something of them weird. But no, me, me realize no. Oh. How you go up? How, how you are going about it? This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. What go on, people? Hope everybody is okay. Hope everybody is all right. People are only putting a go on the news. I remember many times I'm going to circle August town ends. No need to worry. A three man full of people up there. One of them pronounced right down at the hospital. Them say, what do you man? I'm so rich on the side there. I could know exactly what go on. I can start the news with a 50 year old man who's supposed to be so retired and the pension. But then pick up the wrong things. A 50 year old man who police said is an accountant, is a person of interest, allegedly linking to the gun for drug trade. He was taken into custody following a raid in Kingston on Thursday. Police source said that over $1 million was confiscated during the clampdown carried out by officers from the Metro Quick Response team and members of CETA. Them, them, and they're not slapping nobody. And the wrong set of man, them send. Heavy day, me tell them, say, some idiot, them, I send for Go for some man who's supposed to get slapped with. Report that about 3 p.m., a team of officers went to a premises in Kingston 2 era. And during the search of the premises, a total of $403,450 and $450 USD was found. Hold on a bit now, people. Remember, me not really know the exchange rate. So it might be more. But them see a $1 million and counting them of it as. And as you Usual guess what happened? The man could get a count for the money. So guess what? The police the whole land pad it. The cash was seized and taken to CTOC for safekeeping and an investigation is said to be conducted by FID. Now no see why you see them work out the money and see a one million dollar. But coupon on the exchange rate. Look how it has slide. It has slide like when I left a banana leaf. But well on the me not going to say them are going to miss none of the money. You know. You not going to say it for yourself. Well on a bit down people. Me can go down to St. Elizabeth and me have this is a picture you have to show, no? Yes, because them do this, a boy, you're bad. A 19-year-old farmer, yes, that is what I said. Make I continue. A 19-year-old farmer was killed on Thursday night in Bull Savannah, St. Elizabeth. Hold on a bit. I said Bull Savannah. I never said Bull be a people, so the need for this so good. He has been identified as Romario Barnes of Red Bank, St. Elizabeth. The incident which occurred at about 8.45 p.m. What time of curfew hours, my paper? Me always tell you, no? Once it pass curfew and it gets slapped, eh? me not go feel sorry for no cause of involving a wrongdoing. So listen now, it is believed to have been stemming from a dispute over a stolen motorcycle. What me tell you no people? No innocent now that road. rode, be a troublemaker. It was reported that on Monday, Barnes was involved in an argument with a group of men over a motorcycle. A report was made to the Junction Police. Barnes was taken to custody and questioned after it was discovered that the motorcycle he drove to the station was neither licensed nor insured and had a no license plate. Wait a bit now, my people, and listen good. He was released two days later. Remember me, I listened to some time on the safe behind bars, but me not really wanted to go around the underground on the go. Said what I said and I mean what I said on the done already, me now take it back. On Thursday night, while visiting the home of his child's mother, Barnes was approached by a gunman who shot him and fled. Well, on the bit paper, me not tell you though. Mix them, mix up, you understand? And me as a bitch of a show, no. Them doing bad, me paper. Them doing bad. Right on this spot, him dead seat there now. Another child ever grew up without a father because the father them mix up in a foolishness. And I know me already know me only come for talk it short. Me talking as it is and as it might be. Hold on a bit the now paper. Right up August on the gun. Three get slap up up there. Yes, bullet take three of them. And they see when it all said and done, one of them go down hospital go pronounce. And them say me want a new upcoming artist and thing. And I him see him one. They do one tribute for that pa. I wonder what gonna do for him tribute now. I wonder, I hope he make a song for himself, you know. Because, no fun to mix up in a folly or wrongdoing. And no feel like say no time the vibe that go come say that now. You can go and cuss in the comment section, me not even go listen to no. Anyways, make I move on. Guess which part me gone now, people? Me gone right up a come come town. Yes, can me did tell you, you know. Can say me never did tell you, you know. That is piece of chief they want to have. He may go make no fun to get to no self. 
kill. See the now you come on a ball. Oh, well, and the angle on the bang on the self. Remember, this is not a part of us. But if you run police out of town, how you can enforce law and orders? Because they saw people not really something to them weird. But now, me, me realize now. Oh. How you go up, how, how you are going about it? You, you plan for brutal, I so you plan for do it, you plan for brutalize, abuse, and uh, uh, brutalize the people. Them. Oh. I so you plan for do it. Hmm? I so you plan for do it, for abuse, so who no go by your land, or get gun butt, or possible gunshot, and stab. I so you plan for run the community, Richie? That you plan for do? Trust me, I'm disappointed. Now, let me be clear. The wounds inflicted on Chico were not inflicted by any member of my security team. Let it also be known that Chief Richard Curry is not a Dan, is not a gangster, and is an elected official supported by his people to carry out the duties and responsibilities of this nation. They are not armed. Do they possess licensed firearms? So, I'm saying to you, I'm sorry, right, we didn't hear that. The answer. line broke. The line broke. Can, can you say that again? Do they Are right. they licensed farm holders? Is what Cliff is asking. So listen, and I'm saying to you, I have not provided anyone with any weapon, right? Neither am I importing weapons into my territory, right? We do not carry illegal weapons in our territory. And that's why I'm right? asking, are and they... I'm strongly... Are, and that's I'm, why I'm, I'm asking, saying, Chief. That's why I'm asking, Chief, are the members of your security detail holders of licensed firearms? That information I cannot disclose because I am unaware of it. I totally reject any affiliations or associations with myself or anyone associated with me toting weapons and threatening Maroon people. I am here for development, I am here for change, and I will ensure that we're not derailed the way we have been for the last 285 years. And, I thank you very and, much, and, for the, and just before you go, Chief, please... Oh, he. Oh. A long time I come out and I talk it loud and clear. He was a waste man and no father never agreed me. See the phone yourself now. Listen to that here again. And that has put a lot of concerns into the elders of my community who have hear their concerns. And on the, the several town hall meetings that we've had, um, 13 to be exact, since the eight and a half months I've been there, mm -hmm. we have spoken about how we manage our space and how we manage the situation as it relates to COVID. We're a small community where we are. We don't have the necessary uh, facilities to take care and treat our people. He came that morning expressing what happened, and I told him, Chico, go and get some rest. We pick this up at 6 in the morning, and we try and have some results. He left here and went and got into another altercation. Right, and that created other um, uh, challenges in the morning because in that issue, I'm understanding that um, a knife was used and we're having conflicting reports of this knife incident which has been mentioned and promoted in the media. And it has all been done to make me seem as if I'm influencing a negative, uh, a negative approach to maintaining order in our community, and that is not the case. The facts of the story, the grievances of the parties involved, and as much statements as possible mm -hmm. to arrive at um, an amicable solution to the issue. Mm -hmm. If it needs to be referred further, or deferred, then it will be. But what we have is a recognized process that is overseen by a lay magistrate and justice of the peace is trained dispute resolution specialist. Yeah, let's come and tell you so nobody over here no safe. So if you want to feel like some you go pick up for this alone, I think you make a sad mistake. The people them soon get him out still. You understand? By any means necessary, me I tell you no. The marrow them are going to get him out. No, sit down and watch for yourself. Anyway, now people, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Come and check us out because we have only a video for showing you. Know? We have only a body laid down for the gang and then sitting there. So, just follow them, come, come see what I want.